of course, we look here at our star watch. And of course, here's our starting lineup. Check out the shooting guards. These kids are a treat to watch. They're in the starting lineup for a reason and should not disappoint. We got the potential for fireworks here today as two of the top teams in the country are getting ready to get things going. I tell you, without a doubt, this will be one of the top games on the tube today. This will be exciting. Two top-notch teams will definitely be in the national tournament. As we tip into the first half, the butterflies are flying, baby. The Orange are number 15 in the polls right now, Dick. You know, his shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. The Blue Devils go into their zone motion now with the J. Nails the J. You can just blink and this guy's already got 20 on you. This man is a scorer. He's one of those guys who's really a gifted scorer. He can really put up some great, great numbers. On the outside, from left of the circle, can't connect. Throws it up, goes up for two. For the bucket, I want to thank you for joining us tonight with Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. I'm Brad Nessler. They work the perimeter. He looks for three. And score it! On the dribble, gives it up for two. Oh, yes! He throws it up from downtown. Nope! Gave it up. Tries for two. Off the glass and no good. Takes the pass in the paint. Goes up for two. Goes. Around eight minutes remaining on the game clock. On the dribble, gives it up. For the bucket. He doesn't get the hoop to fall. Lobs it for two. Well, let's check in with Erin Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Erin. The Blue Devils. Coaching staff feels that the current... With a rejection, Duncan manages to keep it in. He tries the fadeaway. He's taking a lot of bad shots out there, Dick. I know he's trying to catch fire, Brad, but it's just not there. Tries for two. They're lighting it up from the field right now, Dick. They're in a dangerous rhythm, my friend. Dangerous? Dangerous for the defense if they keep it up. Goes up for two. Scorches the net. About seven minutes remaining. Griffith receives the ball. Attempts the jump shot. Off the mark. For the bucket. That one's off. Cross court. Puts up the J. The missed shot. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Guys, if you haven't noticed, the coaches want the ball being pushed up the court. The tempo doesn't seem to be at a speed which is conducive to their style of play. Let's see how the players on the court react and make changes moving forward. Thanks, EA, our third member of our team, providing that additional insight. Jumper plus the jumper. Work it around the perimeter. Bad decision there by the senior. On the right side. I 
Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. They got it. Way out on top, controlling the ball. You betcha. The Orange have a lot of history. I love it. I really do, Brad. The pioneers and past greats who have paved the way for the younger generations. The shooting guard with the ball nails the jumper. The Blue Devils are all about up-tempo style, aren't they, Up-tempo teams typically have some great athletes, people that can really get out and transition, who really can run exceptionally well and also can jump exceptionally well. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Now trying to feed the low block. Had a shot block. Ball's going to stay here. These guys have really been able to step it up so far, and they're putting together a very good team effort. It really takes the pressure off of your go-to guys when the supporting cast is able to make plays, rebound, and be strong on defense. As a coach, when your team is playing together like this, you have to be smiling on the sideline. He attempts the three, nails a sweet jumper. Gave it up. He shoots from downtown. Scores it. We're at the four-minute mark. Looking for a good shot. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. With a great block. Jumper didn't look pretty, I can tell you that. That baby was ugly. Let's it fly. Missed it. On the outside. For two, he buries the shot. We're at the three-minute mark. Pushes it up. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. And makes the shot. He tries the three ball, knocked it down. Up and inside. Great hustle. The pressure that basketball, help one another, communicate. Duncan picks up the foul, first team foul. Well, if there is such a thing as a good foul, that was probably it. Sure was, Brad. He fouled to prevent the easy basket. Here's another solid junior, Dick. Knowing there are guys on your team who know what you want and know what it takes to be successful is a big bonus. He gets it to go. the second shot so Dick so important now at the point the point guard will set things up and the other four will go to work well you know what they're doing is a four around with a post guy on the interior and they're trying to get that ball to the inside but they're playing with four people on the exterior I did a great job of the ball fake that created the up and under move and good footwork it's essential with an up and under move to utilize good footwork with a fadeaway jumper. Look at that follow through. They let him get into a rhythm. Now looking for the pick. Hey, it's important that the dribbler really turns that corner horn when he's using that ball screen. 
Well, he commits an intentional foul there to prevent the easy basket. Well, it's a smart play, Brad, especially if you can afford to use a personal foul. I like his mentality. No easy basket. Another great sophomore right here, Dick. Brad, he's got that first year of experience under his belt. So this season, his team is going to be looking for him a lot more. Charlie strike. So Dick, so important now at the point. The point guard will set things up and the other four will go to work. Well, you know what they're doing is a four around with a post guy on the interior. And they're trying to get that ball to the inside, but they're playing with four people on the exterior. Into their zone motion now. And we've got a whistle and a foul. Well, I don't know if there's such a thing as a good foul, but that might have been one right there, Dick. Hey, Mr. Nestle, I like that type of play. He's saying to the defense, no easy baskets for you. We're going to force you to make shots. Hey, a player senior year is such an emotional one. The key is to stay focused and not get caught up on being in your last year of collegiate basketball. If you focus on the right things, win or lose, it'll be a memorable experience. Either. They have found their stroke at the stripe tonight, Dick. This has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch. The Blue Devils have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. About a minute remaining. He tries the three. Gets the J to fall. Brad, if they were smart, they'd go two for one. the shot. The Blue Devils have got to continue to get him the ball. Brad, he's on fire. Jumper knocks it down. Shot clock is dead. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. From downtown. Off the mark. Tries for two. It's good. Number 21 handles the feed. Takes his jumper. Scorches the net with a J. Goes for the deep one. Can't put it down. At the end of the first half, the Blue Devils lead by six. Syracuse got beat up on the boards in the first half. They made no commitment, Brad, to fight for the loose ball. I bet the coaching staff is going to hammer on the notion of aggressively flashing the boards for the rest of the game. And finds himself back out on the court. This team plays a lot differently when he's in the game, Brad. Is that good or bad, Dick? You know? I think they play a lot more under control. Cross court. Goes up for two. There was no doubt about that one. He cut back door and received the pass. Great recognition by both players. The back door cut is one of those types of plays you love to see. Sinks the shot. Did a great job of getting to the hoop on that one, Richard. That's a great take, Brad. That puts pressure on the defense when you go to the hoop like that. Both teams looking to get things going here. They work it into a double team on a post. That's good. Way out on top, controlling the ball. He wants a three, makes the shot. Working around the arc. In the lane. Can't connect. Griffith receives the ball.
Inside. Goes up with it. They get it to go. 